Kevin here. I'm with Yanni, one of the co-founders of Gatita. And right now today, we're going to show you something really, really cool that can add a lot of money to your pocket this holiday season, significant money, especially if you're thinking about selling your business or you just bought a business. How would you like to add potentially 10, 100, maybe more, 100,000, maybe more uh, to, to your profits this year? And I'm with Yanni, one of the co-founders of Gatita. And let me tell you something. These guys were just at the Billion Dollar Seller Summit number two in Austin, and they were a huge hit. So I decided to come on here, and I, I, I want to share what these guys can do for you because, you know, this time of year, everybody's focused on money, and you want to make as much money as you can. And as your sales are going up and the fourth quarter sales are going crazy, there's a lot of mistakes that are made over at Amazon because there's so many moving parts, so many people asking for refunds and exchanges. And, and things getting lost and all kinds of crazy stuff going on. And Katita are specialists in actually finding every little penny that Amazon misses or doesn't reimburse you for. Software can only find so much. But when a human gets involved, they can use logic and use techniques that, that software can't do. And that's where Katita comes in. I mean, these guys, uh, Yanni founded the company with, with uh, Max, and they both came down to the Billion Dollar Seller Summit uh, that we just had. Uh, a couple weeks ago here in Austin. I think they're coming back to the next one uh, in July, which is going to be July of next year, uh, middle of July next year. And, you know, we had – the average in this room was like $10.1 million in, uh, for sales on Amazon. And they've told me that they've already converted a significant portion of that room has signed up with them because they're leaving money on the table. So we're going to talk here with Yanni, and he's going to give a little, little demonstration of what they can do for you. So even if you're already using another tool, you know, there's a lot of different tools out there, a lot of different companies. And then let Gatita take over, and Yanni's going to tell you what they can do, and he's going to give you even an example of what just happened with a, another client and how much additional money that they can actually find for you. Uh, so welcome, Yanni. Uh, it's great to see you again, man. Uh, uh, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for the intro. Um, I want to thank you again for, for the event. The BDSS was uh, a real pleasure. I don't know how to you know, explain it differently. Uh, I've learned so much. Um, I was able to connect with amazing people. Uh, the vibe was amazing. Austin was great. It was the uh, first time for me in Texas. Um, so it was really, it was, it was a really a real blast. So I, I appreciate, once again, the, the ability to, to uh, participate. And God willing, in July, we're going to hit it again. And uh, we're going to do this again, right? That's right. Uh, no, no, no. We're going we're gonna to do uh, this again. <laughs> this again? I got it. Hook'em uh, horns. I'm an, I'm, an, I'm, an, I'm an Aggie, yeah, but Austin is a – Got it, got it. Right. Yeah, I learned uh, hook'em horns. I heard it, you know, <laughs> all over there. I went to the – I did the campus tour a little bit, so everybody's hook'em horns, so it was pretty cool. Another thing that I learned was that um, Jimmy Kimmel was there about a week ago before us, you know? You yeah, know about yeah. That? Uh -huh. Yeah, he was. The whole show and it was the whole thing, so I watched it afterwards, which was pretty amazing because I went to all the places he went, um, so it was pretty awesome. Yeah, Austin's a Austin, as you know now, Austin's a cool place. And so anybody that hasn't been to Austin, or maybe you've been to Texas, you've been to Dallas or through the airport in Houston or something, you haven't been uh, to Texas until you've been to Austin because Austin's very different and uh, 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 the hospitality here and what we the the city and everything is just very vibrant. So uh, glad you had a good time. So let's talk about Gatita though. Let's yeah, yeah, talk sure. about money. I, you know, everybody wants to talk about money. So <laughs> tell me what what the heck uh, does Gatita actually do? Okay, it's pretty simple. We're a technology company. Uh, we really focus on uh, data science. Um, we do a lot of also consulting and educational stuff. We go out there and we do presentations to educate sellers. But we also have a very popular service to basically maximize um, FBA reimbursements, you know, to get maximum recovery from Amazon um, for issues or discrepancies that uh, sellers, third-party sellers um, typically uh, meet, um, even if they're seller-fulfilled, but mostly when they do FBA fulfilled by Amazon. Um, statistically, we find that between 1, 2 to maybe 3% on the spectrum, so 1 to 3% of all the Amazon FBA sales uh, might encounter an issue, uh, which kind of signals, signals to us that Amazon does amazing, an amazing job 97% of the time. 97, 98, 99% of the time, they're doing great with your inventory, with your, with your financial transaction, which is remarkable because if you take all the marketplace together, it's like, I don't know, maybe a trillion dollars in sales. Um, but nevertheless, that one, two, or three uh, percent of, of discrepancies need to be attended for, by by any seller, any any business, because well, like you said, it's all about money. Uh, I haven't met yet uh, somebody that sells on Amazon, uh, which is not for profit. I didn't see any government agency, which is an NPO, a not for profit organization, selling there and not caring about maximizing profits and cash flow. Um, so uh, once again, if somebody like does a million dollars a year, so one to three percent can be between ten to thirty thousand dollars. 
So the objective for every seller is to maximize on being able to recover anything that they're eligible for, uh, for that, that uh, uh, something wrong happened, you know, there's a discrepancy. We can start with the basics just to give an idea. You know, you can send products into Amazon, a thousand units, they only receive 990. You open up a case, where's my 10 units? Amazon investigates, if they find it, everything's okay. If they can't, they re give you a reimbursement. Uh, and that's pretty much how it feels. So that's just the basic, the fundamentals, but there's many, many more types of issues that can happen along the way, uh, which we get to audits and, and uh, checks for. We do over 20 types of checkups. Uh, other kind of examples is, you know, things can happen inside Amazon's warehouse. You know, things can get lost, damaged, destroyed, disappear, uh, things like that. Things, when Amazon ships to the customers, things can happen. Customers ship back to Amazon. I mean, even when uh, Amazon, you take it back from Amazon to your warehouse, you know, we call it removal orders. Things can happen there. Um, also, just on a, f a financial level, um, even when they told you, hey, let's reimburse you $100, and you ch all of a sudden you check up on that, and you see it never got processed, you never got the $100. That's like a financial uh, discrepancy, for example. So all these myriads of issues that uh, you have to have a, uh, your fingers on and, and a tight grip in order to make sure that really there's no mon money leaking out uh, in your operation. Um, many times, you know, a lot of our, our clients, they, they, they do in-house or they use other, other services like Refund Genie. It, it really is a great tool, you know, to, to start this process. But we always see often that, you know, once we come in, there's a, there's a surplus. There's much more to recover. You know, a small example we had, I think, a few months ago, a, a seller, an Amazon seller, uh, he came in. I don't know, he, he heard about us and why one another. He said, I already have two services doing this for me. I want to, you know, what do you guys think? So, listen, even if we get $1 for you, it's going to be worth it for you, right? So, let's let's check it out. So, we did. We checked it out, and within a week or, or two weeks, I believe, we got him back like $13,000, and he was stunned. He couldn't believe it. And that $13,000 was only... Um, uh, for cases or issues that are about to expire. Why? Because typically there's about a window of 18 months to go look back to get reimbursed for, for types of issues that happen on, on a seller's account. So for, for those aged things that pretty much the other services or whoever he had uh, doing it for him, they kind of missed out on. So we came in, we cleaned it up. He got that surplus of cash flow. It went straight to his bottom line because pretty much his costs are, are not going to change. So if your costs are not going to change, anything that we recover really goes to the bottom line, to the profit line. Typically, we see that um, uh, customers that go into Getita, uh, we can really uh, increase the bottom line, but at least 5 10%, you know, sky's the limit. So if you're making uh, $100,000 a year in profit, right, and we come into Getita, we recover another five or $10,000, $10, that's a 5 10000 uh, 5 or 10%, you know, spike in your, in your profit because all your costs stay the same. You did a profit and loss, you know, you're about to prepare taxes, and then you see there's another surplus of cash of five ten thousand. 10000 it's pure profit at that point because you did the, whatever you can to maximize on your reimbursements to the best of your knowledge and tools that you have. And then Getita can come in and give, get you that surplus. And obviously if it's too tedious for anybody to handle on their own, they can always come to us. We're a full uh, package service, meaning you know, they're gonna, we're gonna onboard them, we're gonna manage uh, the account on an ongoing basis to make sure that anything that ever happens, uh, we, we, uh, <clears throat> we catch that, we open a case and we get that recovery. Um, the benefit of that is the element of basically speed. You get your recovery faster and sooner instead of just waiting for it. Therefore, you always have strong and steady cash flow coming in, and there's no leaks in your bucket. So nobody, you, if I come to you, I don't have to pay anything, right? I'm not paying you, cutting you a check or anything. I only pay if you get me money back. Is that correct? That's correct. So, yeah, the idea is, you know, to, to bring a win-win proposition. Um, you know, sellers only pay us if we're successful. So let's, uh, we, our, our fee is 25% which is pretty much the standard in the industry. If we get you back $100 in reimbursement from Amazon, our fee will be 25 uh, after we successfully verify that you got paid that money uh, uh, by Amazon. So, so yeah, how's so that work? So, so if, I, if you were able to get me $10,000 back, uh, I've already had another service I was using and you came in and you found another $10,000 that was just left on the floor because they, they missed some things. Um, so I would then, that money, Amazon refunds me that money once they okay the cases. Usually I get it on my next pay cycle or whatever. And then you verify that that's gotten taken care of. And then I cut you a, or send you money, uh, send you a check for 2500 bucks or why are yeah, you 2500 so, bucks? So typically, yeah, we, we give 30 days on the money. So you get like two cycles. You're doing 30 days because typically Amazon pays every two weeks, sometimes every week. That's fine. Uh, so every, every month we just close, um, you know, the billing and we see what was recovered. And uh, we see that Amazon already paid it out. And then we charge uh, the credit card or debit card. So now there's, you know, a lot of these started popping up a couple of years ago and there was a big wave and a lot of people were posting on Facebook, you know, 
they're having their account shut down or Amazon was getting uh, kind of upset at people sending in all these cases and they were, it was causing some problems. So are you guys are TOS compliant and everything you do is completely above board, right? Yes, that's a great, great point because, um, yeah, there was, there's issues with that. Uh, I think the issues were mainly because of automated services where they, you know, they just come in, they, bring, they basically create robots and they just blast Amazon with cases and that kind of jams Amazon system and they're very unhappy about it. So with our service, it's none of that. It's pretty much, uh, we're a data company, a technology company. So we do have internally, once we grab our data, we have the algorithms running to find the issues. But nevertheless, when we take care of the issue, it's all humans. It's all, you get your own dedicated case manager. Uh, on top of that, um, a large member of our team are ex-Amazonians. They used to work for an Amazon in those departments, and they pretty much monitor that we're compliant. You know, we're TOS compliant at every corner. It's extremely important for us. It's extremely important for uh, for the sellers and extremely important for Amazon. Uh, in addition to that, we're authorized developers by Amazon, so anybody can always go to Amazon uh, Seller Central. They can go to the App Store and find us there. They just go to Pugetita and they can find us there because uh, we, you know, in order in order to be um, a service provider on the App Store, uh, we have to get vetted that we are TOS. And you know, uh, not only that we have the commitment, obviously, to our customers, we also have our commitment with Amazon how to you know treat the data and handle it and make sure we do uh, the job uh, at the highest level possible. So you, your team is mostly in the U.S. or are you, are you using VAs or something outside the uh, it's the country as well? It's a global team. We actually uh, uh, purchase slash merge with another company. Uh, they're based out of Israel, so we do have a presence in Israel as well. So it's an international team. Um, you know, the team in Israel, what we liked is, you know, the, the technological level and, you know, a, a few more elements that we can, you know, utilize to really uh, increase the, the quality of and the performance of, of the service. Uh, one thing I want yeah, to mention if you don't, is if, that... If, if anybody doesn't know, Israel is one of the leading, if not the leading technology country in the world. I mean, they, they're always on the cutting edge. So that's... You're not getting a bunch of Philippine VAs that are just uh, following an SOP. You're getting some people that are pretty sharp and know how to how to uh, look for for all, hole, all the holes in the system where you're owed some money. Yeah, just you know, analyze the data, keep analyzing it. Um, what's amazing about Amazon? I just want to kind of give an idea to people how this works on our end. It's pretty much very similar to PPC. Whatever PPC, PPC today is, all the handling of PPC is very different. What it was six months ago, twelve months ago. A year and a half ago and two years ago, it keeps always changing and modifying. Same thing with reimbursements and, and, and all these reports in the back end. It always keeps updating and updating. So and anybody that comes out right now and says, yeah, I have the solution, I have a software, whatever, it's probably going to be obsolete very soon unless they have a, a serious, dedicated team constantly grinding in, making sure that they're on the latest update or change, you know, understanding the logic because the logic all, all, you know, tends to, to change as well. Um, so there's a lot of involvement in the back end, a lot of muscle in the back end in terms of logic. Uh, with mass data and also with humans, always keep refining it like a good whiskey uh, in order to really get the best uh, quality of, of claims and always getting the highest rate of claims. Uh, statistically, we see that over 75% of every claim that we open gets uh, fully paid. So the idea is to, to bring a case to Amazon, which is fully baked, you know, fully researched. Uh, and Amazon takes a look at the data and the data points and, it, and they say, yeah, it's all good. Here's your reimbursement. They want it to be smooth. They don't want to waste time and back and forth. Uh, because if you waste time for them, it's it's an, the expense of another seller. So the idea is to really bring out uh, turnkey cases. Uh, they're always very, very smooth and the whole thing is good. Another capability that we have that I think it's pretty much outstanding is the fact that we, we are so attentive to the data and, and we're, we, we intimately are so close with the data is that is sometimes we open a case and then Amazon rejects the case and we know that it's pretty much the rejection is, is not justified. So what we do is we reopen the case and if we find the data, the way we uh, present it, so Amazon can take another look, and they usually do, and they say, oh, you're right, we apologize, here's the issue, and here's the reimbursement. So in, in essence, where you have the capability to take rejected claims and convert it into paid claims. Maybe that is also part of the reason why other softwares or whatever that's out there, people try to use, it got rejected, we come in, we clean up, because we have the ability to, to kind of confirm that there is a real discrepancy, and we're able to refine the data to such a degree that Amazon understands it uh, in, in the right way, in the right light. To, to basically uh, say, hey, once again, we apologize for, for this issue. Here's your reimbursement. So now, that is you, also... Do you yeah. do just the U.S. or do you do other countries as well? That no, we do on? global, yeah. So uh, we, we're also authorized developers in Europe. Um, we do have um, a few in Amazon India, recently Amazon Japan. So we, we play on a global level at this point. So anybody that's selling international, uh, selling in multiple marketplaces, you can cover them 
and, yeah. and all in all the marketplaces. Yeah. Uh, now you said you had a little demo or something. You're going to show us. Uh, you want to walk us through a little? Yeah, like, what, just to what, give what people an idea how it like? feels. Yeah, how it feels to basically uh, uh, you know enter the service. Uh, typically it takes just a few moments to to, to be on board, and and I'll, I'll kind of give a demonstration how it feels and looks like when once you're uh, inside the system. Let me just click on the share here thing. There we go. All right, so uh, this is typically when you go to getita.com. This is the landing page. On the top right, you can see uh, the option to sign up. And once you do click sign up right here, it's going to take you to this page to register. And once you do, uh, you, it's basic information, you know, first, last name, phone, and you create your password. Um, promo code, if you have, do have a promo code, I suggest you use it to, to get the benefits of that. We're going to discuss that later, what we prepared for you today. So, uh, I want to stop here and say to anybody who's looking and watching right now, uh, we should probably should have said it earlier. But uh, happy Thanksgiving, happy Black Friday, happy Cyber Monday. I hope you're rock and rolling. You're killing it, destroying it, crushing it. This is a time to shine, and shine strong. So I really do wish everybody good luck. Um, it's, it's exciting times to be uh, alive and to be selling on Amazon. Uh, okay, so after this first page, it's going to prompt you to the second step, uh, which is going to look like this. And then you can choose uh, the marketplace. Remember, we asked which marketplace, so it's all here. So anybody can pretty much choose the marketplace that they have, right? And then um, you can click then on the purple button. It's going to open up uh, Seller Central uh, at the place where you have to basically bring the seller ID. If you see here, there's a seller ID. And then uh, it's going to be the MWS authentication, uh, authorization token. So once you plug that in, you can put also your store name and then click next. And once you do that, that's pretty much it. You're going to get access to our dashboard. And this is just a demo of, of, of the dashboard that we have um, so people can fill it out. Um, Okay, so if you can see in the top left, you have, uh, you know, the, the Gatita logo, then you have the dashboard. You, um, uh, once you log in and you get access to the dashboard, you, it's going to look like this. And uh, typically, it's not going to have any information here because this is pretty much an account that's active. So you see some data. So um, here, if you see since July to November, there's about $7,721 uh, reimbursing cash and another 100 in inventory. Recovery rate here, you see, is 86%. So it means that, um, you know, for every five cases that be open, uh, more than four of them, got to successfully uh, reimbursed, we monitor our, our recovery rate. It's extremely, extremely important uh, just for the fact that we don't want to waste anybody's time. So every the case that goes in has to be really, you know, researched uh, and, and, and performed on the highest level. Uh, but typically when you sign up to the service, you're not going to have this top part. You're going to have this part. Um, it's going to kill you. Pretty much you're going to see this. Um, see right here, 29,000. This is uh, an estimate of how much we have, you know, are, we're able to recover for this account. Once again, this is it's an estimate. It's a rolling estimate, um, but that's how you're gonna look like. So anybody can really, if uh, within 120 seconds, they can go through the sign-up process, get access to this dashboard. Uh, this data and information will populate after a few hours, uh, at the very latest, maybe a day. Uh, but once that's ready, you can hop in and take a look, kind of get an estimate of what's going on. And if you like the estimate, you think, yeah, I wanna grab that, uh, I wanna secure that recovery, you could go on the, on the left side and just click on enable claim filing. It's gonna prompt you to the next step, how to enable it. Okay, once again, to enable it, uh, essentially what's, what's going to happen, somebody's going to open a limited Amazon uh, account for us so we can open uh, file cases on their behalf. Um, over here, I wanted to show you how uh, I think the, this account signed up around August, and you see the Gatita effect. You see that hockey stick that pops up? Mm -hmm. That's the Gatita effect. So before that was about uh, on the monthly level, about 1400 and then the Gatita came in. It became about 7000 That's like 2 3x bump, and it's still ongoing. We have, there's about 29000 uh, uh, more to go. I just want to make a small note here that um, that typically when you see an estimate, we're not going to be able to secure that uh, recovery overnight. It typically it takes about 90 days to recover that we could, because we can, uh, cannot simply blast Amazon overnight with all these cases. So what you have to create is a drip system. You got to drip the cases in. Typically, we drip the ones that are about to expire, and within 90 days, uh, you kind of level up uh, the uh, uh, the account and sweep it up to make sure it's in good standing. Because uh, once we come in, we look back 18 months. So to get recovery for these 18 months, it might take up to 90 days. And after 90 days, it kind of levels and it goes to month by month. You know, anything that comes in, uh, we, we pretty much catch it as, as it comes in. We fix it. We get the reimbursement. And cash flow is, it keeps on being steady and strong. Um, over down here, there's more data points. This is, um, once I get to get to this point, there's, there's free. There's absolutely no cost or anything like that. Anybody can at any point, uh, uh, you know, uh, log into the dashboard, get this data. It's pretty much a freemium event. Uh, if they want us to recover anything, do everything for them. Once again, on the left side, they can go enable claim filing, and we do it. Here, it gives you more data. So when they enable claim filing, you, they just need to go in and 
uh, in their Seller Central and set up an account that gives you limited access to actually yeah. be able to file, right? Exactly. It's okay. like a secretary account. You typically, these accounts are created for uh, – it can be for VAs or for accountants uh, and, and, and the like. Um, and here on the bottom, there's some more issues. Uh, this data, what we typically uh, – we find that our sellers do, they, they, they take that data to analyze what's going on in their operation. And on a SKU level maybe here, they can check it out. Why do they have such a large – uh, amount of reimbursement that skew is it because uh, it gets damaged if it does maybe we, we can change the packaging or the way you ship it or padding it stuff like that so internally operationally you can prevent from the issues to happen anyway so that's kind of uh, uh, the data points they can use here um, once again uh, here by the way we work a lot with agencies and you know agencies typically have more than one account that they handle so if you're an agency you can just click on add new store here okay and it's gonna prompt you to add more and more stores uh, pretty much there's no limit um, you can do it as well. And once you have more stores, you're gonna you're gonna see the names over here, and then um, of course if you have sellers and who are you know friends, you can refer them and get a 50 bucks uh, credit statement. That's pretty uh, cute and fun. So to uh, awesome. So you know. guys, if you haven't, go to the Getida. You see it there spelled out on the screen. G E T I D A. Doc, and yep. then then give them a give them a shot uh, because they're gonna find like you said they're gonna do a lot of cleanup and they're gonna find a lot of stuff. And um, that that's just missed, completely missed. And this time of year right now is the best time to get signed up because there's no other time when you're going to be leaving a lot of money on the table. I, I know, but it, I'm sure it would have added another 10 or maybe, tw who knows, 10, 20,000 uh, bucks potentially to, to my recovery, which is, is real money. And so uh, I want to thank you, Yanni, for coming on and uh, sharing uh, about Gatita. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, you and Max again at the uh, next Billion Dollar Seller Summit in July here in Austin. It's going to be a, an awesome time uh, with a, a lot of high-level sellers and a lot of cool stuff and a lot of fun. You know, next, you know, we went through some axes this time and and went to the gun range and did some other cool stuff. Next time, it's going to be even better. Uh, and uh, it's, it's going to be an awesome time. So uh, thanks again for coming on and sharing. Uh, why time is of the essence. The first point is, uh, you know, as every day goes by, uh, simply eligible claims expire so the sooner obviously you you ensure that you get the proper <clears throat> servers to maximize your reimbursement to your account the better but beyond that the second point is uh it's the end of the year so whatever extra dollar that comes in will go straight to the bottom line to your pipelines hopefully you're making profit some of them if you're losing money god forbid at least you lose less uh so you know it's gonna and go just to think the bottom. about just think about if you're, trying, if you're about to sell your company too Let's exactly my next let's, one you got it just, doing, yeah you just let's say you're doing a you know three five million dollars a year and you're about to to sell and your your sde is uh, nine hundred thousand or something like that and they can come in they add an extra hundred thousand dollars and found money that's not a hundred thousand dollars that's actually 300 depending on your multiple that's exactly. actually 300 400 who knows what it is exactly it's it's very very serious and i know some of these guys that you know if you want the people that are watching this that actually buy companies you, this might be one of the first things you want to do and recover uh, a significant portion of uh, your investment back if the, the company that you're buying has never done this. It, it, it's, it's, it's big. So Yeah, to expedite the ROI. So two, two phases. If you're selling it, the moment you secure more profits because this is the end of the year, your multiples will, you know, will, so every dollar you get, you basically you get three, another uh, three times more because of the multiple at least, right? Hopefully you get a higher multiple. That's if you have the hat of the seller. If you have the hat of the buyer, if you just bought an account, at any given time, by, by connecting with Gatita, your ROI, your return on investment will be expedited because you're going to be able to go back 18 months and get that juice out uh, in recovery. So it's a game. Well, who does it first, the seller or the buyer? Uh, which, whichever one it is, good luck. But, Gavin, you, you nailed it on the head. You already you, you spotted the potential and, and how serious it can get. Uh, and get it, it can turn into big money. So, like you said, it's all about money and the way to maximize it. That's how you do it. That's another kind of um, trick or hack, if you like. Yeah, I can smell money under every little rock. So, <laughs> uh, thanks again, Yanni, and uh, we'll uh, we'll talk to you soon. You got it. Thanks again. Take care, everybody. Good luck.